Hello Angel Baby, so I am doing another video. I am actually going to be starting a new series called the ABC Angel Baby Cardgers, what that will stand for, okay, Twin Flame Recognition Series, and it's just going to be like little tips, okay, and things to watch out for if you are one of those people that's very, very confused on if the person you're with is your twin flame, what's the difference between, you know, a karmic soulmate and a twin flame, and all of those things will be explained there. Um, I don't think I will be showing my face, really. I think that I will just be kind of giving you something to look at. <laughs> all right, and um, maybe do some care reads for that, but well, we will see. Okay, I'll work it out. But the first video is posted, and it's just going to be kind of like a brief, you know, like stepping and putting a toe in the water of what that series is going to be like. I'm going to see if my partner wants to join in on that. Probably not, though. But it's all right. Um, work will be anyways. But moving on, I hope you get good readings, better readings, the drama that was going on. <laughs> the last few weeks, really, it's just like it was like going crazy here. So let's see what we have going on for my collective. Okay, we got some truth coming now. Okay. Ew. So somebody's trying to create some type of independent financial abundance, okay? And for some reason, it is going to cause like a death and rebirth situation. Blah, 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 situation. All right. Um, and right now, this is like really a burden for somebody. This is um, they don't <laughs> they don't know if it's a victory or a loss. For those of y'all, y'all found out that someone. Oh, there's lies and deception here at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you. I feel like you found out that a person may or may not be single, really. Or maybe they have been acting single, okay? I don't know. But we have somebody being left out in the cold here, all right? And the Six of Wands here is like... In the upright, it's somebody claiming a victory, but it's still somebody that's like very haughty. Have you ever noticed that like the skin... The color of the skin on this person, like, it's, like, hot. You know what I mean? It's, like, it looks like this person might, you know, burn you if you touch them. All right? So, this person, um, I feel like for some of you, you found out just how manipulative this person was, okay? And it's maybe when in terms of, like, money. All right? Like, this person was extremely, for some of y'all, this person may have been taking your money without you knowing about it or like maybe you just came into some kind of clarity now about that but like like this is where your money's going let's let's keep moving on now um i'm gonna be using some different cards i will still be using my steampunk deck because i still feel connected to it i will also be using the quantum oracle deck the dark mirror deck the Queen of the Moon Oracle, and I will be using two of my favorite Dorian Virtues decks I haven't used in a while, but we're going to use those last as, like, guidance, okay? Um, and if this ends up being a two-part series, then it ends up being a two-part video, all right? We shall see. But I feel like, what is this energy that needs to change here? That's what I'm kind of concerned about, because it's... Like, you know, if this is a money issue, I feel like, you know, that can easily be fixed by determining whether, you, you know, you trust this person to be around you anymore or if it was, like, something trivial. But I feel like this is a big burden, okay? A huge burden that you you found out or getting ready to find out, okay? So I want to know what's the energy like here. There's a bunch of stuff that wants to pop out. Maybe you... Maybe some of y'all are starting to see that this person has, like, way more problems than you think. And I feel like that may be, like, very overwhelming for you. But we'll see. We have addicted. Oh, okay. We have, is this me? Oh, God. And we have downcast pride. Somebody has a drug issue. Okay, we have anger and chains. Somebody has a drug issue that makes them... I don't want to say violent because I feel like this person isn't a violent person. I, I feel like 
some of these trines that come in. I love the artwork on this. Like, uh, Laura Savat, you just did amazing with these cards. I don't know who you are, but I would like to meet you personally. Um, somebody realizes that they're extremely addicted to something, okay? Because this card has an 11 on it. So this is like, something that they signed within their soul contract to deal with within this lifetime. Um, and I think that they're just not realizing. I think that they're realizing that like something is holding them back from their full potential. Okay. Um, and we have downcast pride. So this person, when they get high, they really do talk down to themselves. Okay. Um, and it's like, it's eating, eating them away. Like, do you see how she, like, no longer is a body? This person, it feels like they're less of a person because they're addicted to this substance. This could be a Scorpio. could be a Virgo, yes. Um, my brother's home. Pookie, didn't I tell you to stop making up stuff just to come in here? I will come in there in a minute, okay? And he's not even crying. The monitor is completely silent. Goodbye, sir. Good feelings. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, he hasn't been in here. Okay, now he's crying. Hold on just a second, Angel Babies. Okay, Angel Babies, sorry about that. So I go in there, right? And he's just sitting up in the crib smiling at me. And I'm like, really, sir? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? All right, so um, back to the reading. Like I said, this person talks down to themselves when they get high. So it's like almost like they just kind of emotionally like deteriorate. This person may be looking like they are deteriorating. I don't know. It just depends. But it's like this person doesn't even recognize who they are anymore. So there's a lot of shame here. There's a lot of guilt here. Ah, gosh. Wow, that's like really heavy. Let's get some more about this. But I'm guessing this is like a, just a major addiction issue. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the um, devil card in the upright <laughs> came out. We have boundaries. Yeah, this person wants to set boundaries, okay? Um, possibly with themselves, okay? Like regulate somehow. I feel like they're so far gone that they don't even want to stop doing it, but they want to find a way to like regulate it so they don't have to stop. We have pleasure. Yeah, this person really does enjoy being high. Look at that. God. And we have 18. One plus eight is a nine. We have endings, endings, endings. And this is divine, 12 here. There is a bubble, like a protective angelic bubble over this person. Um, and I think it's just because this person wants to stay, like when they're high, they feel very protected. So it's like they want to stay within this cocoon. Like they really don't want to emerge from this cocoon. This person has deep mother issues. Oh, God. We, yeah, balance coming up in the reverse. And I'm going to keep it because they this person is in balance. They're seeking balance, but it's like their mind and their head has to be in a fog in order for them to, like, function like a normal person. And I don't think that this person um, truly... And this person has kids because that kind of looks like a um, whatchamacall that you hang over a crib. If you can see that, sorry. Um... Yeah, do you see this? It looks like a mother figure here because this is like an older woman. And she's passed. So this, this, this mom isn't living anymore. And this is a secret because of the moon here. And I feel like the stars in the background are literally like all the times that this person spends thinking about this person. If this person gets silent around you or they get um, angry because I think that they have... Um, I saw angry at the bottom of the deck for... Where did I put this deck? I think that's what was in here, is that this person just had an anger issue. Yeah, angry and the change. This person just wants to break away from this feeling of their mother. I'm hearing abandonment. But this person wants to really break away from this mother wound, like, desperately. And they, they are using anything to kind of, like, 
forget about her or um, erase her or not really come to terms with the fact that, you know, their relationship with their mom is not, like, it's not going to, they feel like the relationship with their mom, they don't know if it's balanced or not. Like, they don't know if it was a victory, if they had something to, uh, to really offer them. And they never got the chance to really have this victory to really truly figure out, you know, if this person could have offered them some type of, for some of them, it's money or actions towards them so that they can make money. But in some way, they just feel like there wasn't enough. Maybe this is literally saying that their mom didn't have enough time on earth with them. I'm sorry if this is really triggering for you. I said I wanted good messages, spirit. I turned this around. This is, I'm really gonna have to sage. I wish I had, I think I got Palo Santo in here somewhere. Let's just spray some lemon water in here. Get the spirits up, good lord. Okay, we also have, I can take it up. The healing light, literally, like, I feel like this person is now being wrapped up in, like, healing light, okay? Like a cocoon. Like, it, whatever they were chasing, trying to get high and feel this pleasure all the time, now they're feeling it, you know, like, within. They, have like, were able to, like, cocoon themselves within, like, a healing type of energy, okay? So that is really good. Okay, and we have spirit-led. Yeah, and again, there's another female on the card. So if this person felt like their mother was some kind of deceiver or like um, angels of the four directions, oh God, oh God. for some of y'all, this mom, they, they went to church. Like y'all may not have thought that this person believed, but they, they believed that was half. Yeah, we have eight and four. This was half of their foundation right here, which church. For some of y'all, your mother was a, is, a, is an angel. She's watching over you, okay? Angels of the four directions. She's all around you. Angel baby, she's all around. She ain't went nowhere. Every time you're burdened, every time you're burdened and you randomly, <laughs> okay, feel pleasure, you randomly feel safe. That's her putting her arms around you. That's her telling you that, like, everything is fine. I am here. For some of you, this mother could have been a Scorpio. All right, she had... Scorpios have eyes about them. They have very hypnotic eyes, okay? Um, you know, they kind of stare at you like cats. They say they have bedroom eyes. I think they have hypnotic eyes because Scorpios can also be very manipulative sometimes, and that's probably why you have the magician in reverse here. Um... Or your parent could have also been a Virgo, okay? Because that's what I see here, Scorpio, Virgo. We have courage. Somebody's mom wants them to have courage to have this victory, all right, that they will be able to, you know, get over this. Okay, for some of y'all, y'all are in a financial hump, and this financial hump is coming because you have addiction issues. If this resonates with you spiritually yeah and we have energy and it's out of one okay they want you to have this new beginning they want you to take the courage and have the courage to balance yourself to balance yourself out true love so your mom also wants you to know that the person that you're with if you've been having doubts about them they are your true love and that your mom really does truly love you Okay, lady in red. And do you see this portal opening up within this tree? Okay, it looks almost like a, um, it looks like it could have been made out of a tree, like a wooden, <laughs> I don't know why you would have a wooden mirror. But you know what I mean? Like this person, I'm hearing this person is very like selfless, okay? Because like whoever would ha look at themselves in a mirror and that seems to be made out of wood, like then things fall apart eventually. So this person like just doesn't even care about looks okay if you're worried about that like they really do love you your person really does love you all right your mother really does love you i don't know 
if some of y'all were having issues with that but like and that's out of four too so you know if you've been inquiring about your relationship this is your person the loving man oh my god so for some of y'all angel baby like if you are with a a man or somebody that identify as identifies as a man okay this person really does love you okay I don't know how else to put it. We have a five here, and it stands for, you know, the loving man. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe you guys have a life path of four, eight, one, or five. Let's see here. Okay, I think that's what, optimism. Yeah, this person lacks optimism right now, and they need to gain it. Okay, that's why their spirits, that's why they've been sent <laughs> their, their true love, or, you know, their, their twin flame, their divine femme, or divine masculine. That's why their mother is around them, okay? That's why they're able to, you know, feel that motherly energy, that soothing energy through this person, okay? And you need to be optimistic, that you can get over this, okay? This person was sent to you so you can get over this because this is what's blocking your abundance here for some of you. Um, for some of you, I feel like you thought that your mother was really harsh because of the way that she would speak to you, okay? Because with Ace of Swords here, so she really did say things that would cut you down and make you feel like, you know, less dependent. All right. Or I feel like for some of you, this is like toxic independence. This is like, I need to be by my, like scorpionic energy. Okay. Like this death energy. And we have pentacles. And so, yeah, you could be a, an air or a, yeah, I'm really seeing Virgo energy here. But anyway, it's like, it forced you to like keep everything to yourself. Okay, um, and I feel like the way that you were able to like kind of get over these harsh words or get over, you know, maybe this person taking your money from you, like, um, I don't know, let's say like this parent passed away, okay, or they were at a distance from you and they had to pay child support, like if this was like a loving father or something like that, um, you didn't get any of your money, you know what I mean, like you didn't you kind of suffered okay um you didn't feel loved in a sense that you know you weren't getting you know you weren't financially stable as a child okay so you may have grown up like really poor and on top of that i think you know what happens when you grow up in a you know struggling financially is you start to compare yourself to other kids because you're trying to get a good idea of you know what people your age should be doing or um how they should be acting and i think you really started to you know angel baby compare yourself to other people and i think when you weren't at school and you weren't being made fun of you know when you were at home you had this parent parent this mother figure because i really feel like it's somebody's mom it could have been a father but i really feel like it's somebody's mom um kind of cut you down like what she would be saying would be true but she would just slice away at your heart and i feel like that's what all these daggers are in your back like every time your parent did this you just felt betrayed all right so what happened was you learned to talk down to yourself all right hey, you really you really use the drugs to kind of clear your mind because even though this parent isn't alive you still hear this parent in your head all right, you still hear, hear these derogatory things in your head, all right? And I feel, Spirit wants to say, it's just you. That's how you feel about yourself, okay? Um, and your mom wants to say that she is truly sorry if she made you feel like that. Can we dig into the mom here? What messages does this parent have to say? She says, I'm with you every step of the way, every step of the way, and I like the weirdo. Yeah, we have the reverse three of pentacles. You, she, you. So the mom didn't feel like she had a sense of community. She really didn't feel like she had anyone. Um, there's another female here, so maybe this parent, you know, got cheated on a lot. 
or maybe she had to find like random people um i'm hearing like sisters like maybe she had some sisters that she would hang out with or whatever because she just really felt alone the seven of pentacles and the reverse five of cups she felt alone, and that's no fucking excuse, but this person just didn't feel like they had anybody that really cared about them. And in return, she made you feel like you didn't have anybody that really cared about you. Page of Pentacles, yeah. With the Page of Pentacles being in the reverse, you were slow to build. Even now, you may be slow to like truly reveal yourself to anybody. Okay, let's clarify. Okay, well, just you. <laughs> what is it? Whatever. Okay. Um, heads will roll. Maybe that's how you felt about your mama. Like, you know, she was just willing to slice off your head with this ace of swords here at any given moment in time. It was a very unstable. For some of you, your mom was emotionally unstable, and that's why she treated you in the way that she did. But I don't think she knew that she had an imbalance. I really don't think so. I really don't think she knew. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have the Ace of Cups here. Oh, she felt lonely. Oh, and she wasn't being deceptive, sweetie. She just, she, this isn't a lie right here. She really did feel like she had nobody. I, oh, I don't even want to say that. I wouldn't be surprised if this was like, if they attempted suicide at one point in time. Yeah, we have an anxiety. Three of Cups, okay. So there was definitely some cheating going on here, okay. Definitely some cheating going on with the Three of Cups in reverse. We have the Knight of Wands. This person felt like super defensive all the time, just didn't know how to relax. Um, this person could have felt like they didn't have any options because they felt like they'd be lied to. So, you know, they kept a lot of stuff to themselves. Um, yeah, we have the reverse eight of swords here. For some of y'all, y'all really internalize your mom's pain. Oh my God, I want to cry. Good Lord. For some of y'all, when y'all were little, y'all really felt horrible about yourself. And you were just... You and your mom were just figure aiding each other's pain. She would feel one way, do something to you, you feel one way, and just you. But instead of you pushing it back out because this was your mom, you held it all in. And you got so used to holding it all in. So part of your issue is really opening up your heart chakra, angel baby. So that you're able to get past this addiction, okay? Because, you know, Spirit, she already told you that there's a loving person here. That this is your true love, okay? You were sent this person to help you get past this um, this addiction, okay? For some of you, I really think like it's a drug, but I don't know. But I would assume so. Yeah, unlock your gifts, sacred gifts, senses, energy senses, pure love is the key. What did I say? It's okay to love your mom even if she treated you bad. Oh, I really might cry. <clears throat> It is okay. You got to dive deep within yourself to feel that love, okay? It doesn't mean she didn't love you. She just had problems. Especially, like, if this was somebody that was, like, older, okay? Like, I don't know, maybe if you're, like, way older. I don't know what that really means. But, um, you know, people didn't take mental health seriously back in the day. Especially if you are... A part of the black diaspora, you don't go get no mental health check. You go to church. What did I say? You learn to go to church. Even if you hate church, you learn to go to church and clear that shit up. All right? And put on a brave face. Okay, we have shine your light wise action space for grace okay quiet she reminds you to love yourself so oh god there is nothing wrong with you you don't even understand you just internalize your mom's pain there's nothing wrong with you 
Beyond cycles, okay? Find, embrace yourself, new direction, release old patterns. And release this burden. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. Your mom loved you regardless. Regardless. Some people are just mentally ill. Heart ascension, expansion, love for all, playfulness, release the past. Yes, somebody is still hearing their mom's negative words in their in their head. And there's nothing wrong with you. You don't need to talk down to yourself. Beyond survival, peace beyond survival, peacemaker, through inner peace, resolving ancient splits. Yes, what did I tell you? You can get through this. Your mom is all around you. She's always there. Clear out that negative thinking. For some of you, light language, universal language of oneness, of love. Listen with your heart. Yes. Open up your heart chakra. Do some heart chakra meditations. Um, You know, say heart chakra affirmations. Let me get you some of that right now. Because I know if I don't say it, some of y'all motherfuckers ain't going to look it up. Okay. And I mean motherfucker in the Bernie Mac way of motherfucker. I ain't talking down to you. Everybody is a motherfucker. Okay. Everybody had sex with somebody who eventually ended up being a mother. In most cases. All right. So we're going to look at heart chakra affirmations. If this will just hurry up and clear out, that would be great. Thank you. <clears throat> heart chakra affirmations heart chakra affirmations let's see some of y'all need to do self love affirmations okay Man, it still didn't take. I don't know why. There we go. So it's I am worthy of love. I am loving to others and to myself. There is an infinite supply of love. I live in balance with others. I forgive myself, I forgive others, okay? So I don't know, maybe you need to hang that on your wall because I was, yes, Spirit had me looking up how long it takes you to reprogram your subconscious mind. It said three to four weeks. Um, for something that's been heavily ingrained, like an addiction, it could take a little longer. But that doesn't mean don't do it. You could do something as simple as, you know, the stupid sign saying sarcasm welcome. You could, like it says, Angel Baby or Angel Conjure on Facebook because that's my name on Facebook angel conjure okay you can write on you know um little cue cards and hang them up on your wall so that you'll be looking at it. your subconscious mind will pick it up okay and maybe the next three weeks you'll feel good next four weeks you'll feel fine next six months you'll feel amazing you never know just give it a try all right just give it a try but just know that you can send somebody in the physical to help you get over this and you have your spirit team behind you to help you get over this too okay the lion and the lamb all right the lion and the lamb somebody is a lot more gentle and soft than what they appear to be and there's nothing wrong with that some of y'all y'all really in love with a man and ain't nothing wrong with that shit let that gee you better come on out Okay, you better come on out. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with you because you like the same sex or you like transgenders or whatever. And whoever makes fun of you for that, whoever makes you feel like shit for that, fuck them. Because they don't deserve your light. They don't deserve to see you shine. They don't deserve nothing. If your mom made you feel bad for being sensitive or stuff that she perceived as gay, or if you are doing this to somebody, stop. Because you cause people to fucking want to kill themselves. And I don't stand for that on my fucking channel. 
straight up. I don't care who if you're doing it to an adult, a kid, nothing. You don't say shit like that. No, oh, that's for good. No, 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 no. Because there's plenty of times I played with Hot Wheels. You don't say, oh, somebody's acting like such and such and such, and you're acting like a man. You're acting like a little girl. Don't you fucking do that. Because you cause people to want to, like, use drugs to get rid of the shit that the people that they were supposed to love, the people that they trusted to care about them, now you got somebody thinking something's fucking wrong with them. So stop, Angel Baby, if this is you, or if you're cross-watching, all right? But if somebody did this to you and made you feel that way, fuck them. It is okay to be like, you know what? You don't understand me. I love you with all my heart, but I'm going to have to love you from a distance and create this bubble for myself. I'm going to have to trust whatever higher source it is that I believe to get over this, all right? So, I don't know. I hate people that discriminate against other people just because of who they really are as a person. Like, do you know how many times you have probably reincarnated on this earth and not as the sex that you are right now? Of course you'd be attracted to the same sex. Don't be stupid. Oh, that just made me so mad. Like, the mother in me came out. I, ooh. I cannot, and this better not be my child. My child better not tell me no nothing about somebody treating them like this. Because I got a Scorpio child. And a woo hoo hoo. Uh huh. Oh, my grandmother is here again. She said, if you thought bats weren't enough, motherfucker. Keep on. Keep on. All right. But, um, anyway, moving on, Angel Babies, all right. You have to learn to break the cycle somewhere because somebody's mother did this to them, so now they do it probably to their own children. You got to cut that shit out, okay? You really got to stop because uh, apparently, okay, the lion and the lamb, and somebody, you know who I'm talking to because I know you watch my videos. You already know who the lion is, you lamb. Ain't nothing wrong with being a fucking lamb. Lambs are cute, they are cuddly, they make cute noises, and it's one of my favorite episodes in Hercules, where the demons were watching over the lamb. And Pokey was gonna have a baby. <laughs> one of the lambs was named Pokey, and I thought that was really cute because she was the slowest sheep, but they didn't know she was pregnant the entire time. They actually didn't even know Pokey was a female. Isn't that funny? Talking about transgenders. If you like transgenders, it is okay. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I literally even told my partner at one point in time, like, if you are gay, like, I'm okay. Like, you know, you've been honest with pretty much everything else. Like, there would be no need to hide anything from me. So, you know, if somebody's bisexual, that is okay. People are bisexual. You probably weren't even a man or a woman in the last past lifetime. You don't know. All right. So again, if you need me for a personal reading, this ended up being a really good reading towards the end. Please contact me. Everything that you will need is in the description box. All right. I'm gonna try to gather my thoughts because this reading was woo, good grief. All right. So many emotions in this reading. I will see you next time, angel babies.